All of this week, we have been sharing the stories of East Texans who have fought COVID-19 and won. Yes, KETK's My Owens is here with our final survivor story in our week-long series, Beating the Virus in Their Own Words. Neil and Casey, for years, Peggy and Danny Thornton from Longview have dedicated their lives to being missionaries overseas. And since they got sick, the mission hasn't ended. Now they're eager to get back to work. Here is tonight's special report. We went to Antigua, and mm -hmm. this is where she went to language school. Traveling the world. Remember the uh, conference that we did in Guatemala? From place. Bolivia. To place. Now, do you remember in Argentina? Married for nearly five decades, the Thorntons have seen it all. Philippines. I love the people of the Philippines. Across the map. Kind of hard to pick because every place has a special thing. For the past 19 years, the couple have made it their mission to spread a message. We're missionaries and we're full time. So we're based here in Longview, but we go to different countries, mainly in Latin America. We realize that they can do something in the streets and do something to tell people about Christ. Their most recent adventure landed them in Ecuador in March. We had heard that there were a couple of people who had the virus there, but we knew we knew it was just a couple. This is when it was just starting out. Thinking nothing was wrong, the religious conference continued. I thought this is uh, Latin America and this this virus is in China and it's getting the United States. How many people from China go to Latin America? They don't. So I thought, no, there's nothing going to be any problem. Working with thousands when suddenly their plans were cut short. And they said, did you know that the airport is closing on Monday? And we said, what? <laughs> you got uh, 20 minutes to get in the, get all your stuff together and go to the bus station. Frantic, they packed and made it just in time to fly back to Texas. But home didn't look like the place they grew to know and love. And we were hearing all this stuff, you know, and people in the hospitals and people dying and everything. Supplies being gone off the shelves in the grocery stores. And it was like, coming back to a different country. Their family insisted the couple self-quarantine for 14 days. And we thought, that's crazy. Why? You know, they're treating us like just because we're older, you know, and we really didn't want to do it. We thought it was overkill. Now looking back, they agree it was the right call. Back in Longview for just two days, Danny came down with a fever. Right away, doctors urged him to get to a hospital. I'm not going to have the virus. And all of a sudden, on the 12th day, it came back and they said, you're positive. And I went, I am shocked because I only had fever two days. Both Danny and Peggy went to get tested. Peggy's came back first, negative. By the time Danny got his results, he was feeling much better. You know, we weren't scared or anything. But we were really surprised. Local medical experts urging the couple to stay apart while at home. Greg County health officials tracking their progress. Call every day for a week at the same time every day and see how you did. Did you go out today? The hardest part, being away from loved ones. See, when we're gone for uh, three weeks, when we come back, we're already uh, lonely for the people we like to go see, and we could not then go see them. We have two sons that live here and six grandchildren, and knowing we couldn't be around them at all. Looking at photo albums. Oh, they're so cute. Finding comfort and knowing soon it would be over, and they could be with familiar faces again. We we're free, we're clear, <laughs> and uh, that felt really, really good. Now officially recovered from COVID-19, Peggy says this journey has taught her not to live in fear. Both she and her husband are happy they made that trip to Ecuador. Because we're going down there to do what we believe to be the work of the Lord. It's still hard, but it still is worth it. 
Now Peggy and Danny say they are now focused on a new mission, waiting for the day they can go back to Ecuador and help with coronavirus recovery efforts there. The two say they have been in constant contact with groups in Latin America and look forward to their next trip. Now if you missed any of our previous four stories, you can see them all online anytime at KTK.com. Just search beating the virus in studio. My Owens KTK News.